Recently, I tried to set up StyleX library with Next.js project. Setting up StyleX with Next.js is extremely difficult. You will encounter numerous errors in each step. I follow all the StyleX documentation instructions, but I believe Facebook forgot to test the documentation on their own project to ensure it was working properly. So I decided to solve this problem and set up Next.js project with StyleX. So first, I'm going to open the VJ Studio code and open empty folder inside it. And as you know, to create a Next.js project, you have to open your terminal. I'm using git bash and here I'm going to type npx create next app and then I'm going to use the latest keyword here and then I'm going to pass here latest to install the latest version of Next.js and then I'm going to pass the project name. Just for now, I'm going to pass a simple name next stylex next app. When I press enter, this is going to ask me a few questions about the Next.js project. Would you like to use TypeScript? I'm going to press here yes. Would you like to use ESLint? Press yes. Would you like to use Tailwind CSS? This time we are not going to say yes. We are going to say here no because we are using StyleX instead of using Tailwind CSS. For the rest of the question, just press yes. That's it. This is going to create a Next.js project inside this directory. Now, once this finish, you have to first enter into the project directory. So I'm going to just first clear the screen and CD into my project directory just like this i'm going to clear the screen again and then we have to install few libraries inside this project so if you back to the documentation of stylex then you will find you have to install few libraries to work with stylex so if you click on installation and scroll down and if you open the next year's installation then you will find here you have to install few libraries to work with stylex inside next year's. so instead of using this documentation because this documentation is completely useless I'm going to set up this dialects with Babel. Babel is a JavaScript compiler that enables you to use next generation JavaScript. Babel is just a compiler for JavaScript. So let's back to the project and here we're going to install few libraries. So I'm going to say here npm and then I'm going to say here install or you can just pass here i for install and then we install few libraries. The first library is babel forward slash runtime. Then you have to install stylex js babel plugin and then i'm going to add a few more libraries here so i'm just going to copy and paste few libraries here to set up stylex we need babel runtime stylex.js babel plugin stylex.js next.js plugin and the stylex itself so i'm going to press enter and install all these libraries inside the next.js project once you have all these libraries installed in your next.js project you have to inform next.js that you're using Babel as a compiler for this Next.js project. And we are doing that by creating a Babel RC file. So just clear the screen and I'm going to say here touch Babel RC.js. I'm going to create this file in the root directory of this project right inside this folder. I'm creating this file with terminal. You can create this file by clicking on this new file icon as well. But make sure you pass this exact name to this file. The file name starts with dot and then you pass babelrc.js. So once you have this file inside this project, just open it. Inside this file, we are going to add the babel plugin configuration, which allows us to configure the stylex. So inside this file right here, we are going to first export an object. So we say here module.export is equal to, and then export an object here. Inside this object, we have to first select a property called preset, and we're going to set the preset next babel and after that once we set the preset the preset specify which preset babel should use next.js provide a preset called next babel that contains all the necessary configuration for next.js project so we first pass the preset for the babel and then we specify the plugin so we pass here plugin just like this and inside an array we pass this plugin so inside this next.js we can pass multiple plugins again inside an array we pass the plugin name. As you know, we install a plugin called Stylex JS Babel plugin. So we pass here that plugin name. So we pass here Stylex JS Babel dash plugin. This plugin allows you to use Stylex for styling in your project. And after that, I'm going to add an object here. So pass here a comma and pass an object here, just like this. And inside this object, I'm going to pass some properties. So I'm going to copy 
and paste some properties here just like this now let me quickly explain these properties so first we specify the development mode which is currently false you can specify here development or production that's upon you but i will prefer you to specify here false as it is just after that we have stylex sheet name and then here we pass the placeholder the placeholder does not provide a meaningful or typical name directly instead it could be used as a default or a placeholder name within the plugin's internal logic so we just pass here a default name to this style sheet name just after that this option allows you to generate conditional css classes which can be useful for applying styles based on the specific conditions in your component and just after that we have here unstable module resolution which is going to be common js and root directory is going to be the current root directory as you know this specify that the module resolution type is common js the common js module format is used in node.js so we pass that common js format and then we specify the directory name so you have to just paste all this code inside this babel rc file save the changes just out of that you have to create one more file inside this root directory so instead of using terminal i'm going to use this icon new file and then i'm going to name this file js config dot json now keep in mind you have to specify these exact names to all these files so i'm going to create this file inside this project and inside this file you have to pass here an object and in the double quote we specify the compiler option and inside this compiler options specify the path now this path property is used to specify the module resolution path this allows you to define the aliases for the directories in your projects making it easier to import modules right here i'm going to say double quote and inside that double quote i'm going to pass add the rate and then pass forward slash and asterisk now this is a wildcard pattern where add the rate symbol is used as an alias for project root directory and then i'm going to pass here a forward slash and then pass asterisk this is going to matches any file or directory name here we pass a colon and in the array in the double quote we pass here dot forward slash asterisk now this specify that the alias map to the project root directory so you have to create this code inside this json file save the changes and just out of that you have to open the next js.config.mjs file and right here you have to add some code so you can notice here we have some default code inside this file you don't have to create this file because this file is already exist in the next.js project so inside this file right here we're simply going to first specify and configure the page extensions so we specify here page extensions just like this and we pass all the extensions in the array and to specify page extensions we pass here single quote and then specify here extensions name so i'm going to just copy and paste some extensions here just like this so this setting specify which file extensions should be considered as pages by nextjs by including these extensions so you're telling nextjs to treat javascript jsx mtx tx and tsx file as valid pages this allows you to create pages using any of these file types just out of that you have to inform this file that you're using stylex plugin so for that you have to export stylex so you need to first import that stylex right up here if you open the documentation then you will find here to import this file you have to copy this import statement and then paste that right up here and just out of that you have to export this stylex plugin with some properties just like this so i'm gonna copy this code and paste it right here but if you save the changes and try to execute this file then you will get an error messages you have to remove this first line of code just like this and then instead of this dri name here you can simply specify path so i'm gonna first import path from path library you don't have to install this library because this is inbuilt library in xjs so you have to just get it out this directory name and you have to pass here path dot join and inside this curly braces we specify process dot cwd so we pass here parenthesis so this statement is going to return the current directory and you can also specify where you want to create this stylex file so if i pass here a comma and pass here src 
then this plugin is going to create that stylex file inside the source directory now just for that we are also going to add a property called use css layers and this is going to be true css layers allows you to organize and manage css rules in the layered manner which can help with a specificity and maintainability now just for that let's save the changes and try to execute this file so i'm going to save these changes open the terminal clear the screen and i'm going to say npm run dev when i enter you can see now we have the server running on localhost 3000 when i click here this is going to open the localhost 3000 you can notice we're still going to get error if i inspect this then you'll notice you'll get this error so we'll see here we have failed to load the server responded with status code 404 not found and if you open your project scroll down then you will notice here and we have your syntax error which is next font requires swc although babel is being used due to the custom label so what we have to do is we have to remove next font from the layout file so we have to open the source here we have the layout.tsx file we need to remove this font because we have a custom babel configuration we must inform nextjs to use our own custom font otherwise a conflict will arise between nextjs and babel so to remove that conflict we need to remove this code just like this don't forget to remove that right from here as well save this file save that file open the terminal scroll down and you can see we have this compiled message back to the project reload it and you can see you have your nextjs project now let me just test the stylex project so i'm going to open the page.tsx file get rid of all this code because we are not using it and then get rid of this file as well this style file just out of that here at the top we are going to import stylex so here we say import star as stylex and we get this from at the rate style jx forward slash stylex right from this package and just out of that we have to create a style so instead of creating a style i'm just going to copy and paste code here just for testing so we are just going to call a function create and then we create some basic styling for the base class and for the buttons just like this and at the end right here you need to specify your html as well so we're simply going to pass here a div inside that div to use this styling this one you have to just pass here in the curly braces you have to first pass the sprayer operator just like this then you pass the stylex this one then you have to call here a function props and inside that props you specify your styles so what we are going to do is we are going to apply this base styling to this division tag this one so we pass here style dot base so we first access the styles and then we call the base i'm going to do the same for the button as well so i'm just going to copy and paste that button right down here just like this so simply going to add some random text then add a button and then I'm going to call the spread operator with the stylex, call the props method, and then call styles and button. Let me save the changes back to my project and reload it. You can see I have the stylex styling to this JSX. Now let me change this padding. I can do that by changing this value. If I save the changes and back to my project, I'm going to get this error. I cannot read a property of undefined watcher. You might get multiple errors when using stylex. If I reload the browser, this is going to return internal server error now sometimes this error is coming from the dot next folder which is pre-compiled inside the nextjs project so sometimes the code does not compile and you must rebuild the app each time you make changes to it to solve that problem i'm going to open the terminal clear the screen first just like this and then i'm going to run a command called rm hyphen rf and then specify the next folder this one I'm going to rebuild this folder when I run the npm run dev command. So I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to say npm run dev. When I press enter, now this is going to rebuild this folder. And when I reload the browser, 
you can see I'm going to have the code what I want. So I hope you understand how to set up Stylex with Next.js. If you want to download this project, the GitHub link is in the description. If you find anything useful, make sure to press the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe for more latest videos. I will see you in the next one.